Hi guys, it's Aoife from Friday Z Dead Laughing and I just wanted to do a really quick library haul. Um, so this is my June library haul. Obviously um, I didn't take out too many books um, because I was taking out some listening books from my dad which are downstairs um, and I also had two books left over from my last library haul. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the four books I do have here. The first one is The Stolen Child by Lisa Carey um, and I definitely pick this up for the cover though I have heard about this before and um, this is set in Ireland and I think it's just a little bit of magical realism set on an island off the coast of Ireland yeah it's to do with magic and sisters and all sorts of things um, it seems but this one looks and sounds really good so I can't wait to get to it the next one I have here is one I've seen pop up on booktube a good bit and it is Max by Sarah Cohen Scully um, and this is to do with a child who is genetically um, engineered um, to look perfect during World War II so you know the perfect Aryan child and it's told through the um, it's told through the POV of the fetus um, and up until he's born and like starts training to be the perfect Aryan soldier and all that kind of stuff um, so yes that's all I kind of know about it I know people who've loved it I know people who've hated it um, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it and seeing what I think because I think it'll be a really interesting story the next book I have here is one I think I've seen on booktube somewhere but I keep seeing it every time I go to the library and it was just one that was like calling out to me and it's also because I really love the cover as well but it just looks really interesting and it's called Passing Strange by Ellen Klangies, 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 I'm not really sure how to say that um, but this is set in 1940 in San Francisco I think it's just about a bunch of different women and just one night um, between all of them and things that they do and the people that they meet and I'm pretty sure this might be like LGBT themed I'm not really sure but it definitely looks like two women like dancing on the cover I think one woman is in a suit and she looks beautiful um, but yeah there's just something about this book that has just been calling out to me it's a really short book as you can see it is 200 pages um, but yeah this is just one that I really really want to read and it sounds really good and the next book here is called under the visible life by kim ecklin and this is another one about two women and um, from two different kind of sides of life i think and it's just about them meeting and forming a friendship i think i don't know if it, I, i'm not sure if it grows into love um i kind of get the idea from the back that it could it, it could grow into romance and love i'm not really sure but i think it's just about their friendship holding them up um, and really helping them through like different d like tough times in their life um, I think one woman is a refugee. Um, so one woman is half Canadian, half Chinese, and another woman is half American and half uh, Afghani. So, and I think it's set in New York. Um, but yeah, it sounds well, obviously New York with that skyline. But uh, yeah, it sounds quite good. Um, and I can't wait to read this one too. So I feel like all these books are going to be really good books, hopefully. Um, and I can't wait to dive into all of them. Please let me know if you've read any of them or if you've heard of any of them. Um, let me know if you've gotten anything great from your library recently. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.